Hi guys, welcome to lesson two. Remember guys, I said I am feeding you with content because we want to end the year with a bang. So I have a series lined up for you and today it is lesson two. So if you have not watched lesson one, hey, you have missed it. And I want to teach you from lesson one all the way to lesson five. I am concentrating the double bottoms. I want to teach you something that at least you can say, something I know about Forex. You know the way we call ourselves Forex trader, but if someone asks you, which strategy do you use? You don't know. Have you ever made money in the Forex? You can't tell. It's only losses. Okay. Which trade can you remember? Can you point out that this trade you are in? You cannot even remember. Let me tell you, at least some patterns. For me, I can even remember a double bottom that I entered two, three years ago. Because when you love what you do, you master everything you do and you don't even forget. So in lesson two, I want us to discuss how to trade double bottom on one hour. So lesson one was how to trade double bottom on four hours. Now, I want I want to even show you like steps, steps that for me I used to identify double bottoms on lower time frame, what do I do? Remember I said in the last video, there are rules. And the first rule, anytime you will ever trade a double bottom, you need to trade it from an uptrend. You don't want a downtrend. You don't want a ranging market. You want an uptrend. Number two, the second thing that I said, your double bottom should be OPT. OPT meaning if you're trading it on one hour, it's not supposed to be on two hours. It's not supposed to be on three hours, on four hours, on daily like that. So when we are trading our double bottom on one hour, our concentration is two, our concentration is daily. So it's supposed to be OPT. Uh, the strategy that we will use for the double bottom is of course CRB. We use that strategy CRB. The target, uh, there are two. The first one, we will target half. The second target, we will target neckline. That is for the target. And the third and the last but not least, we want um we want exit if csb happens if csb happens we exit the trade so you can imagine that is how easy this lesson is it's so straightforward if you want to be trading using one hour time frame like every one hour you check the charts do i have to have to follow these rules and the concept of double bottom it comes from break and retest that is where the concept of double bottoms come break and retest when the market is breaking and then it comes and retest the retest is what we concentrate with so this are our and when i'm saying the concept come from the break and retest of breaking breaking retesting so what what we're experiencing is this is what we're experiencing we're experiencing um a market that break we have the second break we have the third break okay so so we have um we have break and retest. So anytime the market breaks, that's that's uh, buyers being in control. And you you know, breaking is what gives us an How do I get an entry? How do I get an entry to continue buying? You just need to wait for this retracement. So this retracement, you can have a double bottom. And that's what I'm saying. You can have a double bottom of the break and retest that retracement is what gives us a double bottom because the market is coming and uh, as it is retracing, it can give us a double bottom. Now, if we go back to our chart, number one, I want to see an uptrend. So let me squeeze the chart. So do I have an uptrend? Of course, I have an uptrend and see how the trend and that is a very, is that the right way to put that's an uptrend? Even if it's not touching, you can see it being going up. So it has met our first rule, uptrend. And then I've told you the concept of, of double bottoms come from the break and retest. So if we understand this market, this market broke here. You can see it first broke and retested, but we still have the second breaking. So majority of people will always focus with what is visible. And that's why I tell people trying to trade the unseen is very, very important. But majority of people will focus, not many people who will focus that this market broke around this area. And it, it can be coming, it can be used, this area can be used as that's where our nearing our trend line is. So where the trend line is, it is like a magnet. It pulls the price towards it. That's the first thing, okay? So if we want to have a double bottom on four, let's say we don't even know if we we'll get it on one hour. If we want to have a double bottom on four, that is the double bottom on four hour. But let me tell you guys, 
These people, they don't give what you can see with your eyes. They always give you the hidden things, the hidden mystery. That is what market makers, they are best known. They won't come. It is so easy. Everyone is seeing it. That you can see it was written. So they have to put their game. And that's where lower time frame comes in. Because now you're on four hour, everyone is seeing it. They may not give you exactly what you think. And already here we have a support created. You can see um, red candle followed by green. We have a support uh, created. So the market pulls that big candle. And if you're that person who is like, I'm waiting for the double bottom to come to this zone. Number one, you're cooked. You will be left hanging. Retracement to touch the trend line so that I can start placing my trades. Again, you're cooked because this trend line, let's see how this trend line uh, is pulling through. You know, there are people who use the trend line. Can you use it like this? This trend is have at least two points, at least two points touching each other. So we have point one. And point two. And I'm just showing you how the market makers will even dodge the people who are using trend line. Ah, perfect. Those who are using trend line, they are lucky. They would have gotten um a hands up. Can you see, guys? The double bottom will be coming. And this is a discovery that I don't pay attention, but I will be starting to pay attention. So I have started my trend line from here. It has touched, you can see, it has touched this area that we are seeing. Trend line to be active, it has to have touched two areas that has already happened. So it has touched one, and I love my trend line to be black. I always love black trend lines. So let's try to cook this. Let me try to cook this market and we see how we can benefit. So can you see the trend line has to have two areas? We have one, two, and we have one, two. Now, Guess what? The trend line was touched. Oh my goodness. What if this is what we have cracked the code? <laughs> what if this is the what the trend line people always want? Where the trend line has touched, most or 99%, there is a double bottom on the left that is not visible, that is invisible. Now, the trend line alone, you cannot, it can't help you because you're wondering how do I enter? But let me tell you, here we are not seeing anything, but trust me, there's a time frame, we have a double bottom. So we're on four hour and uh, I will go on three hours and you just check on three hours, do I have anything? Nothing. Anything I mean, a double bottom is created by a support, a red candle followed by a green. Here I have one green, second green, no support. Number two, do I have support here? This is two hours. Do I have a support here? I do not have. Now I'll go to one hour. One hour, guys. Do I have a support? Finally, I have support on one hour. Do you know why they hide it on one hour? They know majority will go to three hours, two hours, and majority will give up. So they will put it on one hour because not many people who will even think that that double bottom can be hidden on one hour. This is amazing, guys. If you think this is, is, is helpful, I, I want you to like the video, comment down below, say, I am learning something. I am learning something. So you have a double bottom that is hidden. Now, this is what we say. This double bottom is OPT. You see what we are saying? The double bottom is OPT because clearly on four hour, I cannot see it. Can you see? There is nothing you cannot see as support because I need two supports. One at the first attempt, the other one at the second attempt. Oh my goodness. On one, on, on, um, on one hour, there is, there is the support. So let's start now analyzing the chart. Number one, I will need the neckline. And number two, I will need the half of this. So that is how, you know, the reason why we use double bottom to give us entry. If you don't use this strategy, when will you ever enter? So our, our concern is, will we get CRB strategy? Will CRB manifest? Because now we have cracked the code of this uh, this uh, double bottom is only on one hour. In fact, it's not on any other time, higher time frame. It's not on two, three, four, daily, name it. So here we are waiting for current resistance to happen. And you understand how resistance happen. Let me repeat. Resistance is when a green candle, resistance, guys, 
is when a green candle is followed by a red candle. Resistance is when a green candle is followed by a red candle. That is resistance, okay? So when I have like that, I can say for sure, for sure, for sure, I have a resistance. Now, you will wait to see green, red, and then you tell me that is our CR. So number one, I have a green candle, another green candle. I don't have a green candle, another green candle. So I'm not having current resistance. Can you see where now we have current resistance? Now this is our current resistance because it's green followed by red. I think I can delete this. So what do I want this current resistance to do? I want the market to break it. This is CR. I want CRB, current resistance break. So I'll be waiting patiently and you can see the market has started to come down forming another current resistance. So I will shift my current resistance because it means that they don't want to break, to break. And you will keep doing this until you are satisfied. So here I don't have current resistance. Remember current resistance is green followed by red. Green followed by red. So I have green followed by red. Now I even have lower resistance. And then I wait for the market to break. The first candle, it has not broken. And the second candle, it has broken. Now, we know that you, you trade immediately. And that is, you're targeting how many pips? 22 pips. The question is, where is your exit? Yes, you are targeting to half. Yes, you are so eager to take that trade and target your 22 pips. But the question is, where are you putting your stop loss? Your stop loss, guys, is the break of this red candle breaking. Not, not weak. A red candle comes and breaks. Let's say you have entered there. Then a red candle comes and breaks that support. This area, we call it CSB. And any double bottom, we exit with CSB. We don't want CSB happening. That is our exit. So let's see what happened to this trade. After you enter, did it hit the 22 pips? Do you think the market hit the 22 pips? Of course, it hit the 22 pips. You can see, not only it hit the 22 pips, you are given another chance of buying. We have another chance of buying all the way to the neckline. So it was like back to back from this trade to the next trade. So here you are trading and you're getting 44 pips. Now the question is, how do we get the exit? The first exit was CSB. It's the same thing. If this market comes and breaks the support, you exit. So we don't exit because of your drawdown. We exit because CSB has happened. Current support has happened. Let's say you buy there and you have a red candle breaking like that. Just close that trade. Just close that trade. So exit is if a red candle breaks that. So you can see we almost let me let me take that handle again and you will see what I mean. You will see that the market almost broke. Watch this candle as it is coming down because you have already identified for us to cancel this trade, it's either the market is breaking. And you see it's almost broke but left a week. Now if you had put your stop loss here, guess what? You'd have been stopped out. So we don't put stop loss, we observe how will the candle close. We leave close below that area. And if it does, you exit the trade. So let's see what happened to that trade. You can see it hit the take profit. Now, why was this trade so successful? If you are not on one hour, number one, you could not have entered that trade. And that's why sometimes you may lose many trades because you're glued on one time frame. That's how on four hour, trade it was looking let me that's how for our trade it was looking you can imagine all this buy you're not even knowing why the market is buying it bought because of one hour double bottom now this lesson two it will help you to start going through uh double bottoms or patterns on one hour and even having confidence as long as you know how to exit trust me trust me this one this one it will be good for you so this is my free, free lessons.
This is what I teach when someone approaches me and they do not have money. Because this is what I started with when even me, myself, I didn't have money and I had, I made money. In fact, I tell people I bought my car using double bottom patterns. So don't think uh, because I'm teaching you this, oh, there's no money here. Imagine if you put one lot, you'd have made $440. So there's money there. Now in my mentorship, the paid mentorship uh, course, I don't teach patterns anymore because I have now advanced lesson. So we always start with CR in our mentorship class, CS, OPT, BWA, BTB, Buy Zone, Sell Zone, B, R, B, B, R, W, R, C, S, R, C I R. That is what I'm teaching in my mentorship program. If you want to buy my course, trust me, this is what you will get. If you, my course to buy my course is a thousand dollars, and you won't, I won't sell you double bottoms because that one I can teach you for free, and that's why I'm doing this. If you understand double bottoms, trust me, this one it will be easier for you. It's like I'm preparing your mind for what is ahead. So if you want. Recorded course is a thousand dollars. A thousand dollars. If you want Zoom class, the one the the one on one the mentorship one on one Zoom class is fifteen hundred. That one I will teach you. Not only will I teach you on the Zoom class, I will show you how to take the trades live. As I'm tracking my own trades, I will show you anything. It extends. It's one month. So the difference between the recorded course is you learn by yourself, you're your own boost. But when you learn with me, you get to understand what it is there. So that is the CR. So that you are learning how many concepts? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So in the class, you are learning you are learning eleven concepts. They are how many strategies? One, two, three, four, five, six. You are learning six strategies and 11 concepts when i say 11 concepts this is foundation it's just like the way you build a house you need a foundation even if nobody will ever see the foundation when you see that big house you already know that this big house is standing because of the right foundation the good foundation so cr cs opt these are foundation for a very good strategy in the market so all this i'm charging uh the mentorship program i'm charging 1500. So I understand there are so many scammers pretending to be me. So if you ever want to reach me, this is my number plus 254-700-344-066. So this number, you just WhatsApp me, just WhatsApp me and say, it's either I wanted the recorded course, it's either I want the recorded course and the recorded cost is $1,000. That's what you say. Or, or you want one month Zoom class that I charge $1,500. So there's a difference. The Zoom class, it's one-on-one. -on -one. I am teaching you one-on-one. -on -one. The recorded cost, it's me guiding you through, but it is in the recorded form. So if you... If I can teach you secrets like this, and this one is for free. And let me tell you, I bought my car using this. Now, I want at least to start making history with these strategies. Like I want to do big purchase using all these strategies. Like I want to build my house to buy another car. And I say, oh, I used C I S E S R. I used this strategy. I used the BTB. Like that's what I want to do. And I have been recording uh, my own trades and soon I will share them with you so if in case you're interested just whatsapp me and it's bye for now see you in lesson three in the next video bye bye and I love you